Yeah. Welcome back to the arena. I'm Michael Corrin. Now, Benjamin Levin has been charged with vile offences, quite vile offences involving children and pornography. Was in court again last Friday. Now, I'm sure you know of him, a major player in the world of educational politics and politics, one of the most important educational advisors in all of this country. Faith Goldie has been keeping a close eye on the case. Too few journalists have. She joins us now. Were you there on Friday? Certainly. I was there. It was a brief court appearance. Uh, while Ben Levin was not in the courtroom, his defense team, led by Clayton Ruby, was. Um, again, the only journalist in the pews. However, I was surprised because there was something different when it came to the audience uh, on, on Friday's meeting, and that was there were actually a host of citizens there, concerned mm. people who have been tuning in to your show, Michael, to Sun News more broadly, and been following this uh, case because they understand um, that it is an important one and one that is getting too few, too, too little attention. Mm. So it was good to the folks that were there. Thanks very much for coming out and for spreading the word as you do. What are we allowed to say, if anything, about the charges? Right. So, the, well, we can talk about the charges. There's seven of them, uh, including making and distributing uh, child pornography. Um, it started off with five, and then he had two slapped on, uh, two additionally uh, slapped on. Not as much press as we saw with Gian Gomeshi when he had I was going to talk about that. Uh, yeah. additional charges pressed against him. Um, there is a pub ban on publication ban on evidence right now. When it came to the bail hearing, we did hear some evidence come out, but we're not allowed no. to discuss that here. Is that typical, by the way? Um, yes, it is. Uh, this case of this sort of uh, nature, yes, there would be a publication ban because there are children that are allegedly involved mm. in these uh, yeah. various charges. Uh, that being said, there will be the, the next court appearance will be on Friday, this upcoming Friday, the 16th, 2.30, same courtroom. Folks, if you're in the media, you're listening, again, I extend an invitation out to you. This is going to be the most important one, save the bail hearing to date. Well, I want to ask you about this because, mm. look, let's be candid. This network has a certain reputation. People know there are targets that we go after. I think rightly so. Generally, not always. I, I, I don't, as I'm, sometimes don't play that game. But just as objective people, Jan Gameshi, now these uh, alleged crimes are very serious. He was a major player in Canadian media. But the alleged crimes in this case are... I would say, far more serious. And this is about a man who had enormous influence behind the scenes with some of the people who actually run this country. Not pretend to, I want to, but actually do run the country. Uh, Yet for Gomeshi, he could barely move because there were so many journalists there. With Levin, just you. A hundred percent. Again, both these men let off on a hundred thousand dollars bail. Uh, both these men say, uh, facing about seven charges, I believe, in both instances of a sexual nature. The only difference is, is that uh, Benjamin Levin, his charges involved children, yeah. number one. Number two, he was, as you say, in a position of authority. He was deputy education minister. He was part of Kathleen Wynne's transition team when she was elected from within her party to lead uh, this province. Um, he is part of the upper uh, echelon, the top brass of Ontario liberal um, folks. And yet, I, 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 there's a total double standard, Michael. I mean, do you remember us, uh, the media following Rob Ford over a crack scandal? Mm -hmm. This is something, this man was at the helm when, when this province published the most controversial sexual education policy, which now Kathleen Wynne is promising to reintroduce to in-state uh, as of September of this year, 2015. I don't believe in any way that Kathleen Wynne has any sort of link to what, what is charged here. Um, I, I, have, I doubt if any liberal person was aware of this. I don't think it's even about liberalism. In Britain, the, conser no, I mean, the Conservative Party in Britain mm. is deeply involved now. One of Mrs. Thatcher's senior advisors, and I've been mm. accused it some time ago, of the most heinous crimes involving children. It just it seems to be an establishment issue. I mean, he is very much part of the Canadian establishment. He and his siblings, they're very influential people. I don't understand, and again, I, I'm, I'm not being disingenuous here. I don't understand how media can decide that Gomeshi is a major story, and it is. I mean, you know, it's sexy and, he, and he's young and people admired him, but that this is not to be covered. And I, I can't imagine there was a deliberate policy, but you know how it works. At a morning meeting, people would say, OK, what's on today? Um, ben Levin's in court. Mm -hmm. no, 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 we're not interested. They, they make a decision that is not worth covering. Yes, uh, but I, like I said, this Friday's meeting, um, a court appearance, will be the most important because they will decide uh, whether or not Ben Levin will uh, proceed with scheduling a trial, a preliminary hearing, or if he will enter a plea. Now, if he enters in a guilty plea, keep in mind he doesn't have to plead guilty to all seven counts, uh, all seven charges. Why do I hope not to see a plea? Is because then we won't let this 
play out in front of the courts. It means that the deal has been made, you know, behind the veil and that I will not be able to tell this story. Other journalists will not be able to cover this story and it will basically dissolve, disintegrate, evaporate, which is what I think Clayton Ruby and the defense team want to have happen here is the no media attention that is currently get, uh, getting outside any of our station. Any defense team would, wouldn't that, would want that, of course. I assume that Levin's career is over. Well, yes, he was a tenured professor at OISE. Now, you know, because of bail conditions and the rest of it, uh, that's all become very mm. complicated. Um, so his career, uh, yes, but on the same note, I mean, most folks who don't watch our station, if they saw Ben Levin walking down the street, do you know who he is? No, right. unlikely. It because it, he hasn't had the Gian Gomeshi face splash on every single news mm. network across mm. the country. No, you're quite right. And um, I mean, the preamble I gave earlier is because there are people, when you say Sun News, they say, well, you have certain people you dislike, you go after this person and that person. Well, <clears throat> to a degree, maybe there's something in that. But th this is quite clearly a, an issue of objective reporting. This but, man is not a trivial figure. He is profoundly significant in, in the formation of educational policy and the way we raise our children, not just here internationally, nationally and internationally. And it, if this was... Most other people in his position, would there be any media coverage? I'm sure of there would course, be. Of course, Michael. And, and that's the thing. There are two different issues at hand. One is just covering this case in and of itself. And the second is, uh, what did he know? When did he know? What was his yeah. involvement when it comes to the actual sex ed curriculum? The fact that this sex ed curriculum is now back in the news. There is your news peg, folks. Yeah, the, yeah. That is what the assignment desk folks should be saying around that table and saying, no, of course we're going to pursue this because yeah. come September we want to be a ahead of this. And when it comes to both the sexual uh, education policy as well as the Ben Levin case, there is no left or right, Michael. Yep. This crosses political lines. Everyone is I interested agree. in this story, and yet little are covering it. Thank goodness you are, and doing Thank it you. so very well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michael. Mm. Let us know what you think about this issue and everything else. Send us an email, thearena at sunmedia.ca. You can find me on Twitter, at Michael Corrin, and don't go anywhere. Lots more of the arena still to come.